I'm teacher Elijah Chloe, and welcome to our first topic of Math If. Did you know what the algebraic expression is? Let's find out! Algebraic expression is an expression that consists of a term or more involving operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The term is a constant, a variable, or a product, or a quotient of constants and variables. A term has numerical and literal coefficient. The number in a term is called the numerical coefficient. They are also called constants. Constants are numbers that have fixed values. The letter in a term that may represent a specific value is called the literal coefficient. These letters are also called variables. Let's have an example. 5x minus 3. 5 and 3 are the constants. x is the variable. 4x plus 2y. 4 and 2 are the constants. x and y are the variables x plus 1 over y squared. 1 and negative 2 are the constants. x and y are the variables. Not all the algebraic expressions in our examples are classified as polynomials. x plus 1 over y squared is not a polynomial. Algebraic expressions which have terms with variable under denominator, variable under the radical sign, and have negative or fractional exponents on the variable are not polynomials. By the way, polynomials are algebraic expressions of more than two terms. Polynomials may be classified according to the number of terms. A polynomial with one term is called a monomial. Example, 9x cubed y squared. 12z raised to the 6th power. A polynomial with two terms is called a binomial. Example, 2x plus 2. 9x cubed minus 5. A polynomial with three terms is called a trinomial. Example, 7m cubed plus 2m minus 3. 10x squared minus 8x plus 2. When a polynomial has more than three terms, we simply call it a polynomial. Example, 7x to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 8. For polynomials with one variable, the degree of a term is the exponent on the variable. For polynomials with two or more variables, the degree of the polynomial is the highest sum of the exponents of all variables in any term. What if there's a specific value to each variable? How do we find the numerical value of an algebraic expression? Let's find out in the next topic of Math If.